you're watching a video and a series of tutorials to help you learn how to use Filmora 9, the fun to use, easy to learn video editor for all creators. By watching our tutorials, you can learn everything you need to know to create your own videos in Filmora 9. Hey guys, in this video, we're going to look at Filmora 9's different color tools, and take a look at some 3D LUTs. Color correction is the act of fixing visual issues in your video by adjusting the light and the color levels. Color correction is one of the most important steps in making your footage look natural and consistent. For movies and TV shows, color correction and color grading are always done after the whole movie is done being edited. This is because you don't want to spend time color correcting something that might be edited out of the video anyway. So since the video in my timeline is not going to be changed, I can start color correcting. I'll start by double clicking the first clip I want to color correct to open the color window up here. At the top, we have white balance. White balance is based off of the color temperature of the footage you shot. Color temperature is measured in kelvins. If your camera was set to 5600K, and the lights you used had a color temperature of 5600K, then the footage should look natural. Sometimes your white balance is off because the light didn't match your camera's white balance. By clicking Auto, Filmora 9 will do its best to make the footage look natural. If you'd like to change it manually, you can use the slider here, but Auto looks good for this clip. You can also reset any slider by clicking this arrow here. Moving down to the three tone slider here, this is where you will do the bulk of color correction. Contrast is the difference in luminance or color that makes an object distinguishable. Adding contrast to your video can make it look more interesting to the eye by making everything in your shot stand out a little bit more. If you shoot on a default cell phone camera, there's a good chance it has some added contrast already because of its format. Since this footage was shot on an iPhone, when I add too much contrast it will start to look a bit dark. But when I add contrast to this camera footage that's shot in a different type of format, I have much more space to work with. Saturation measures how vibrant a color is. Slide it to the right to add more vibrancy and life to your image, and drag it to the left to bring down the intensity of the color. Since we want to make this footage look natural, let's click drag the brightness slider down until it looks right. Some people like to use graphs, scopes, and other methods to perfectly correct the levels in their footage. But when it comes to fixing your footage with these sliders, I suggest just trusting what you think looks natural, and maybe having someone else take a look at your color correction to see if it looks natural to them. Now we have color corrected our clip. Let's try using a 3D LUT to stylize the footage a bit. This is color grading. Color grading is about giving style to your footage. Professionals make your favorite movies have a distinct look with color grading. Even though you might not notice when you first watch a movie, you could probably tell the difference between a Harry Potter movie and an episode of Game of Thrones just by the way the color looks. Luckily, in Filmora 9, we have 3D LUTs made to replicate the color of some very popular shows and films. These LUTs, or look-up tables, are not filters placed in front of your image. Instead, they'll change the light and color in your clip to look like the film or TV show that you selected. Big-budget films like these ones obviously have lots of lights and cameras that help them achieve the look that they want. The LUT will do its best to replicate the style of the film or show using just color. You can use any LUT you want by clicking 